Yeah, part of my problem is, I guess at this point, I... Why even do that? Yeah, sort of. I mean, it's nice to get that done with. Okay, cool. So the last would be potions if we care. Um. And fishing! <laughs> Can we just see what fishing is like? We've never even I just don't seen know. Chiroji I, I do admit, fishing. I don't know how to fish. Well, you won't know if you don't try. Truth. Okay. Okay, we've saved. Do we go to the pier, or do I have to talk to Shichiroji to go fishing? You probably have to upgrade the pier and talk with Shichiroji. Oh, yeah. Have I never upgraded the pier? That might be part of it. Well, that's another thing we could do, actually, is uh, we could actually just upgrade some buildings. I mean, at this point, I'm not going to be spending money on any, uh, any more on anything. Okay. Watch there be an amount of money you need for the next chapter. No. Okay, so the pier can be constructed. Interact with the fishing spot after the upgrade to trigger a fishing day. Yeah. But yeah, now that we've... Uh, now that we've made friends with everybody that we care about, I'm actually having... Well, I mean, I guess we still have Valen. Oh. We're out of stuff. We're out of gemstones and we're out of glimmer. I guess I did just uh, make a whole slew of trinkets mm -hmm. after making a whole slew of weapons. Makes sense. It doesn't bug me too much, I don't Now, where's Shichiroji? Care too much about the alchemist. Uh, for Shichiroji or... Fishing. Well, fishing, we just oh, interact with it to uh, trigger a fishing day. Oh, okay. Um, so you spend all day fishing? Yes. How many fish do you catch in a day? Oh, right. Uh, can't buy anything with him uh, from him until I rank him up. Okay. Well, we could hang out with him. I mean, we could hang out with anybody. Uh, t -t 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 -t. That's a good point, actually. Let's check Shichi Roji. Personal bond, Shichi Roji. Hey. Finding fish and items during a fishing day. Okay, yeah, maybe we should hang out with him. We'll hang out with him. I just, I just want to see the end of the game. <laughs> like I I just I just wanna beat this. We've been this is what, episode we're getting close to episode sixty. We might be oh, past you didn't it, want actually. To talk with Henrietta to get the next part of her story? Let's talk with Chichi Roji. But, but, if you wanna go fishing, let's up up our fishing. But Henrietta has some story. Chichi Roji has a story. Oh, uh no, Valen's off. Oh, we missed her day because we upgraded the fishing hole. Yep. Chief Chiroji! Spend time with Shichiroji. Ah! <laughs> so nothing happens. Okay. Well, that's because he was at 80%. Right, right. I was not paying full attention. Part of it is, I really like the lore of the dungeons. Like the interesting things that we encounter sometimes. Oh, so those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I mean, we could go out and do a dungeon or two, maybe. I just... Eh. Let's hang out with Henrietta. Okay. Let's see if we can finish her personal story. Do not hesitate to ask. I don't bite, you know. Okay. Or right, it should be, I don't bite, you know. Naturally. Hello there. Hello. Did you want to talk about something? Greetings. That is correct. I have some mild security concerns. Hear me out, please. Though I have been assigned as an envoy to Ascalia, truth is I am rarely asked to directly partake in diplomacy. As an agent of the Mystir, my primary duty is to keep the nation of Lordemar safe at all costs. The time of standing armies and strong arming is over. But, we've talked about this, haven't we? To reiterate, today, nine times out of ten, the pressure comes from within. Our Church of the Sacred Fire 
is a tough beast to rein in. They may be the heart and soul of Lordemar, yes, but there are times when protecting the nation from the dogma becomes a crucial importance. Long story short, as problematic is as is sorry, I'm getting all mixed up. As it is for the mystere to fix, we still have our zealots and warmongers to deal with. What a mess. She seemed like that in the past, but we don't know. Hi. Yeah, she does. Yes. It's a bed of nails that we've lain oursel for ourselves throughout the centuries. I'm saying this because not everyone is happy with treating Ascalia like an equal partner. There are certain factions within the administration that call for your immediate extermination. Ooh, she's warning you of an... Assassination oh, for the love of the hell? All in a day's work, I assure you. You learn to filter it out. Regardless, if we are to cooperate, trust is key. You had to be made aware of these groups, the dangers that they may pose to you in the long run. And the fact that as long as I am here, they shall never, ever speak in the name of Lord Amar as a whole. Probably thank you. <laughs> I do like the whole makes it sound it's like It's either thank you or you make it sound like your country's a time bomb. Yeah, okay. Well, you can thank her, I suppose. No. Nope. She only marginally yep. likes that one. She might like the... Yeah, she time bomb. She likes anything that sort of... Degrades. Degrades her government. Yeah. Yeah. Just doing my job. Proceed. Okay, so we're going to load back. So we don't have to hit that... I've noticed loading has been a little bit futzy lately. Mm. Why do I? Is it because of the new computer? Actually, it's probably because we have half a billion save files for this game. Yeah, you keep piling them up. Well, it's so we could roll back if we ever make a mistake, which happens a lot. Where is but she? There she is. How do we even remember what saves I go to what? I remember. No, I don't. Even a hundred saves back? Uh, Acceptable. no, but... We'd, we'd never, ever go back that far. I'd mm -hmm. rather eat the consequences than roll back that much. Yeah. Which is why we never redid the diplomatic thing. Hello there. Mm -hmm. Because Greetings. going back that far would suck. <sighs> oh, for the love of... Uh, you make it sound like your country is a time bomb. Yep, she likes that. It is. But it was worse once. Just like the world itself. And, frankly speaking, I prefer to see the world for what it can be. Proceed. Now, let us return to less gloomy topics, shall we? Okay. So she's getting there. Solution. Pursuit evasion. Yeah. Uh, I guess we can just keep hanging out with her wherever she went. She went to the oh, town square. Oh, she's in the town square. Okay. Gonna keep saving. Though if we hang out for with her, it's just gonna be a shitty chat. Well, it's either her or Valen. Let's do Valen. Valen also is shitty chat time, but we have to do no, 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 two no, no. shitty chat times with him, don't we? No. It, um. No, Valen's ready to talk to Oh, okay. What's the word, Mr. K? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. I think it's high time, don't you oh? think? Huh? You know, to spill the beans. How the heck are you not part of the autumn? All that mysterious eluding, winking, evading. You're doing it on purpose. <laughs> Aye, that Valen does. And he's constantly amused by the depths of your curiosity, Mr. K. Right. Come on, man. Yes, Valen agrees that only be fair, he'll talk, but be prepared. The story itself may not turn out as exciting as the build-up, Mr. K. You see, Valen wasn't, hasn't always been the fury spirit he is now. There was a time, somewhere between ancient memory and the current day, when Valen stood proud at the head of numerous elven coteries. In that time, Valen was a jarl, Jarlkin, a leader. 
Not that different from being the king of pirates. Uh, no. You think? Let's just say that Valen strongly disagrees. Back then, the autumn resounded clearly. The joy, the sadness, the rage, the helplessness. All blended into a single color, a melting pot of emotions. Nothing was hidden. One day, there was a change in the autumn. Valen cannot describe it. Just like the autumn evades description. But it called for blood. A change? To the Jarlkin, that change means one thing. A great raid was called. The Coteries were being mobilized to fight once more. By whom? It didn't matter. Valen thinks. It never matters. A droplet doesn't feel responsible for a tidal wave, nor does it care from whence the wave flows. At the time, Valen thought it was the will of the Alder King, but it's just a childish thought. No elf has ever seen the king, not even the Jarlkin. What does that mean in the grand scheme of things, you ask? Reg regrettably, Valen doesn't know, and doesn't want to know. It's a weird thing to describe to strangers, the sight of an elven raid. We sailed forth, proud and mighty, cloaked in the mists and storms. Like masters of the world, we were death. We were the night. <laughs> That's a reference, isn't it? Our target was a puny dwarven keep on the shores of Atrigir, or as the dwarves call it, no Noyai. So you? Sad Aye, they stood no chance. Do not ask for grisly details, for Phelan would not speak of them. Still, it was terrible, bloody. It was a terrible, bloody affair. None would survive. Uh, so pride, or that's horrible? I have no Because he idea. doesn't seem to be proud of it if he doesn't want to talk about it. I don't know. Let's just go with one. Which one do you want? I personally want number three. Okay. But... What a horrible story. No. Nope. Uh, he only marginally Raylan likes agrees. that. Aye. The folk are an aggressive bunch. And when roused, it was a glorious victory. And then things became huh? weird. Huh? The Autumn reached out and spoke to Valen. For the first time, it was not a stream of consciousness, but a sentience. A message directly, uh, sent directly to Valen. It praised Valen for the grand victory, promising eternal glory. It promised a reward, to peek beyond what is known. It promised knowledge, and in knowing, ascension. All for one last quest. How long it took, when, where, Valen does not remember. Suddenly, Valen found himself in the domain of the Cirrus. Here flows the truth he heard. You will see the world for what it is. Offer your eye, Jarlkin, he heard. Offer your eye so that you may see. From the eye, a fountain of wisdom shall spring. A brew shall be made, and with it, you shall see at last. I knew his eye was going to be sacrificed. I knew it. Is it me, or is that hair risingly ominous? Aye, but Valen agreed. And then... And then, at that very moment, Valen grew a new eye, a true eye, devoid of deceptions. And then Valen saw. Saw what? Why? Only the truth. Valen looked upon the autumn, and for the first time the autumn was clear. The curtains gave way, the barriers crumbled. Valen looked through the world, deep into the autumn, and saw the source. Whatever Valen saw, it... it was too much. Too... To Well, it broke Valen. Valen could not stand it. It tugged at his very core, so he plucked his new eye out and ran screaming. Whatever it was, Valen chose to forget. On that day, Valen stopped hearing the autumn. He chose... No. He forced himself not to hear. On that day, Valen left something... Someone... Perhaps... Behind. It could be said that Valen decided that maybe, just maybe, some things were not worth knowing. So I... Business as usual, Mr. K. That was a very casual way to speak about such an experience. Nope. Mm. <laughs> the captain's nerves have have to be made of steel. Besides, Valen thinks that story loses its innate horror after a couple of retellings. However, save the long face for a more fitting occasion. Without that day, there would be no Valen Elsigan, Pirate King of Mareware, Dragon of the Sea. A life lost, a life gained in return. That would be a fair trade, aye? There's no warning, so I just start reading it, and then I <laughs> hear him, and it's like, well, all right. Uh, well, I guess we got to redo that, but ha ha ha. Har, har, har. 
That was so much reading. Well, he's a he's a weaver of tales. I know. It's just that's part of the reason why I don't want to talk to anybody anymore. My mouth is tired. Then talk to lady characters. Uh, I do half the talking. We've only got one lady character left. That's true. Because after Henrietta, it's what? Levant, Chichiroji, Valen. <laughs> well. Gren. Yep. I don't want to talk to Gren. My Australian accent is particularly terrible. <laughs> And by particularly terrible, I mean I like literally can't. Oh? I just can't do it. I can't even get close. Right. Ah, uh, no. Huh? Okay. So are you gonna say that he sounds proud? proud? Yeah. Yeah. Sad okay. Day. You sound proud of it. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh. They say that oneself is composed of many parts, Mr. K. Valen would like to say that all of them resent that memory, but. Valen fears that it'd be a lie. It was a glorious victory, and then things became huh? weird. Offer your eye. Okay. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, uh, how about this? Why isn't he Number speaking three. about the way you do? Oh, yeah. is it because he's yeah. pretending to be something else? Is that why you speak about yourself the way you do? Yeah. Uh, I... However, save the long face. Okay, well, that was... He had... All he had to say was I. Hi. I. Well, okay, fine. That works. All right, so he's up to level three, and now we got to do a quest. Quest! Quest. Glorious quest. He is gone, so we can't continue. Balls. So that means we need to talk with Henrietta, except Henrietta's name <laughs> Henrietta's blah, blah, blah. also gone. Well, um, Monk's Day is boring. No. <laughs> I'd rather hang out with Shichi Roji. <laughs> Drunk bastards at least uh, or voice fish. actable. Go fishing? I mean, we could go fishing, but no, let's, let's hang out with Shichi Roji. You again? Okay, so you're a persistent guy. Neat. I still don't know what the hell I should tell you. But re I'm really, really not used to adoring crowds. Let's not make it any more awkward than it already is, my good sir. What about Baz and Lilka? Nope, didn't like that. Eh, they're good people. Baz is a good man. I doubt anyone else could lend a roof to a bum like me. The man has a mighty large heart, almost as big as his bicep, I say. I'm grateful, of course. Now, Luca, eh, witchy, witchy lass, but she ain't half bad. She likes to play all tough and push old Uncle Shichi around, but deep down, she worries. <laughs> Remember, if you ever drop dead while drinking, do it away from my nice clean floor. Or not. Anyhow, my point is, it's sort of uncommon to walk, waltz around talking to other people, especially when you're the boss. That's the point. You're big, you don't have to do it. You know what I mean? Not saying it's not a positive change of mind, just a weird one. Heh. <laughs> you remind me of that one kid I met during the war. Fresh-faced, idealistic, kinda like you. He died during the first charge. Stood no chance last time I saw him, they were making a shish kebab out of his intestines. Uh, stop! That's gross! What the hell, Shichi? My bad, my bad, little one. <laughs> Fighting a glorious business. Exactly, but I'm of the mind that there's no point in sugarcoating it, unless we forget, and then people die. Shichi, enough! Right. 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 Well, we'll have to continue with the war story some other time then. Because your given track record, I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing each other again, right? Interesting, he only had one dialogue option, and dialogue I option. whiffed it. Yep. <sighs> So we encourage him to socialize, or we make fun of his face? I think we make fun of his face. Yeah, doesn't he respond well to insults or yeah, something? Yeah, I, I think he responds well to insults. Okay. But yeah, you had uh, asked me about my phone earlier and why I was looking at it so much. I've gotten four emails in this one recording session of games that I was going to request. Well, that's good. 
it's sort of. <laughs> I like it when they don't send me games so I can be like, okay, I guess I'm not going to cover that game and not have to worry about it. But people want you to cover games. No, it's true. It's just like, Jesus Christ, I'm putting out like 10, 12 videos a day now. Okay. Uh, with a face like yours, it's no wonder. Yep, you like it. <laughs> You'd think the ladies would fall for a scarred war veteran, but clearly ain't, ain't the case. <laughs> yeah, the war. Ugly stuff. Never dabble in warfare, man. Especially if you can avoid it. Okay, same thing. Wow. Ah. At least all the games are good. Nothing sucks more than being like, uh... Oh, yeah, we can just hang out with them again. Uh, I think Shichi Roji might be one of those characters that's intentionally placed so, so that you can, um, get some Kingdom Quest done quick. Because he feeds into the, the fishing system, too. Yeah. Eh? A penny for your thoughts? No. Hmm. Your penny for my thoughts? Hmm. Suddenly I feel like an idiot. Well... If that's what you want. You want my honest, unbiased opinion? What you're saying sounds like a lot of crock. It's the truest truthiness. There were, uh, there we were, surrounded ten to one, equipped with nothing but farming implements. People say that it takes a wizard to do magic. Flying dung, I say. All it takes is Baz with a shovel. Now that's magic. Mm. A lot of stuff was handled like this back when we were still mercenaries. Think of Crucy's head. Think hard. One swing and BAM! Ah, those are simpler times. <laughs> a shovel would be insufficient, or how it does that? I like, that. I like three. Okay. How exactly does one decapitate with a what? shovel? What? Oh, really marginally mind. likes that. Simple. You take a generous swing and then th off it goes. It's a matter of proper t technique, really. All funsies aside, the past is the past and that's good. You agree, right, Bass? Mm. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> so, if I'm getting all these labyrinthine war stories right, I understand you were a fighter yourself. Of course it was! All grunt level, naturally, so little glory compared to the folks in blingy gear. But I knew my way around a weapon. It was, even if it wasn't always mine. <laughs> See, I'm not exactly a role model when it comes to us dwarves of the Empire. The Mononofu. Are the guys you want. All honor and steel, all swords, us commoner sticks. Swords are strictly prohibited. Dignity is in short supply. Mm. But, meh, it's not like I was ever an Empire kind of guy anyway. I wanted to see the world, you know, so I became a merc. Funny how fortune works. Back then, I had all my teeth. And some of my hair. But now I'm here. With only my rags and ills to my name. All washed out and penniless. And, uh... Probably over, also over relying on the kindness of my old buddies. <laughs> mm. Listen up, laddie. Indulge me here, even though it sounds rantful, ranty, rantish. Hmm. I may not know diddly squat about anything I've learned this much, uh, but if anything I've learned this, but I've learned this much. Okay, there we go. War isn't profitable, not to the people who matter the most, at least. I understand. Sure. Nope. I doubt it. But eh. All I'm saying is war is easy when it's on paper. When you're in charge, you don't care about those who get to actually fight them. Heh. <laughs> but you care, don't you? You're a puzzle like that. Certainly not a typical big wig. I like that in you, kiddo. You're a new, different breed. Yeah, don't me. let that change, you hear me? No need to become one more ivory tower, right? And we're gonna redo that entire thing because holy crap, we suck at dialogue with Shichi Roji. <laughs> he's a little unpredictable. Yeah, he's murky. At least he's like available to talk to literally every day, so it makes it I really mean, easy to rank him up. I mean, he's hanging out finally. at the end, so. Yeah, but I figured we'd uh, max out Chichi Roji and then try fishing, just once. Maybe more than once. I don't know. I just want to be done with this game, though. It's a fun game, but like, ah. Uh... I, well, I just want to beat Mr. I'm the real house lord. Yeah, him there. and Crucy. Him and Watch Crucy. them actually be working together. 
watch Chrissy be like, mm, actually, I was paid to like ensure that you would try paying off the debts of How the about master. A shovel would be insufficient, I think. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. You threck one bloodsucker and another one rises to take his place. And it seems like the suckiest bloodsucker around to boot. Eh. Can a god bleed? Well, whatever. The debt can't. All the funsies aside, the past is in the past, and that's good. You agree, right, mm. Baz? Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Sad. Okay, there we go. Okay, so shovel is insufficient, and... How about who matters most? Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh? Nope. Uh... The, you're drunk, yep. is what was right. I guess so. Those who fight and those who die, they're families. You know that, everyday guy? And then it's the same thing. Well, at least we know the uh, the results here. <laughs> ah. Is your voice getting tired? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's more um, my neck muscles. You're, oh, because you're speaking with your neck more? How, uh... Yeah, kind of. When I'm when I'm shichi rojing, I'm kind of like this, <laughs> and it involves a, yeah, it involves a lot of weird jaw placement. <laughs> it's just tired. This is a very passive game, which I I may not perfectly huh? enjoy. Oh, his beard goes inside of him when he nods. That's funny. <laughs> You're drunk. Uh, yep, yes sir. I may in fact be a teeny weeny bit tipsy at the moment. I'm at the particular stage of life where my blood is one third vinegar and two thirds booze. And then it's the same thing. Okay. And then I believe vinegar we can hang news? out with him again. Ew. Yeah, but we'll have to spend time with him. I wonder if we get much of a quest from him. I don't know. I wonder if fishing will actually um, get bonus points with him. Uh. Why don't we try? Okay. I guess we haven't seen the dock with the new fishing tools. Oh, okay. Tutorial, fishing basics. All fish you catch double as consumables and concoctions. As such, fishing can be used as an inexpensive way to gain combat supplies. Fishing allows you to catch more than just fish. Item trinkets and vendor junk can be found too. Interacting with the fishing tools in the pier will trigger a fishing day. Consuming one in-game day, you have five fishing attempts per fishing day. Your success chances and total number of attempts can be modified by applying special fishing baits. Typically, these baits can be bought from Haksoon or crafted to your town alchemist. I don't think this is going to make uh, Shichi Roji. No, it isn't. No. It's just something for you to use. Yeah. Then why is he often associated with it? I mean, he probably fishes, but... Presumably he's teaching us to fish in the off-screen time. I wish they'd almost, like, uh... Explain that. I wish that, that he was the, the tutor, in a way. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. <sighs> yeah. At this point, we're just yawning because we're not doing anything. No. I still wonder what the lands to the west would have looked like. I mean, we can check them out. Chances are, Chapter 7, after Chapter 7, we can still go around. I just... I'm more interested, almost, in learning about these characters. Okay. Okay, spend the day with Valen. Valen agrees. <laughs> and that's how we found the treasure of Gar Raleigh. The celebrations that ensued lasted that's for awesome. days. Damn, what an adventure. Why can't we find any treasures left and right? I won't lie, it would solve so many things. If Valen finds any in the near future, he'll be sure to send it your way. Deal? Deal. Ha, this is the truth. By the way... Uh, Mr. Valen? Someone outside says that there's a message for oh. you. Indeed? Can't keep them waiting, then. Excuse Vale in a moment, friend. Whoa! Did you see her head? No. It flopped backwards! I didn't see her head. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go watch that footage. Okay, so I've heard, I have now observed her face. Oh <laughs> That was weird. Okay, well. He's here. 
Lauren, he's here. Okay. Uh, may I help you? Wait, are you Valen's men? The crew of the Iscarios? Yes, sir. It's important. Please be quiet about this. Don't mention anything to the captain. See, his birthday's coming. We were hoping to do right by him. Maybe make the ship a bit nicer for him. So, wait, what? There's only three. <laughs> Phantom Crow. So we thought about making a shiny new figurehead. You know, the, tri the thingy in the power of the ship. He always said he'd like to see a mermaid there one day. A mermaid figurehead for a birthday gift. Then, I see. Why are you coming to the, this uh, with this to me? Well, you guys are pretty close, and you're also the ruler here, so you probably know a blacksmith or two, right? We thought maybe you could order a custom one made, you know, just for the captain. As good as possible. Not a bad idea, actually. Sure. I'll try and arrange something. Thanks, mate. Uh, sir? Captain's coming back. Yeah, boys. Oh, there are they all. Were they layered on top of oh. each other? Uh, no, I think there is some at the door, maybe. Huh, weird. It would seem there is no m Wait, do you smell fish? And urine? Oh, I can't smell anything, no. <laughs> huh, well, for some reason, Valen felt all nostalgic. Weirdest feeling, really? <laughs> well, we know that Gunther is going to be the one to make yep. the figurehead. Hey! Hey, Gunther, I have a very special commission for you. Oh, a commission! I am all ears! You know these ship figureheads that folks put on the prow? I need you to craft me one. And it can't just be any figurehead. It needs to be of a mermaid, the most beautiful, enchanting, and mind-blowing being you can think of. Wait, what's that from? What? This is Gunther. Wait, what do you mean? This is going to be a muscular mermaid. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> we'll At see. At the same time, if it is, it'll be the best <laughs> thing ever. You see, most beautiful being. I can do that. It's Leave it to me, okay? I shall be a. Th it shall be a thing of the utter magnificence. Its radiance shall blot out the sun itself. I tell you, I'll need you to bring me some exqui exquisite materials, though. Can you do that? Sure. Sure, and thanks. I'm counting on you, Gunter. Okay, what's the list? Or we have to go out on an adventure. I just really want, like, a really buff dog. Oh, or no. something, like, horrifying. Okay, hilarious. what's the quest? It's going to be amazing. Okay. Uh, gather the necessary materials. Oh, we can check it from the crafting. Uh... Oh, we have to craft it. Mm -mm. That's worrying. Maybe we spent too much glitter and stuff. Glimmer. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Oh. We just need gems. One gemstone. W w one gemstone. Son of a poop. Eh, whatever. Well, I guess you get your adventure. Adventure! Hopefully I, we still have enough time for everything else, but we only have time for one, though. Sadly. Yeah. Will we get at least one gem on this adventure? What, where does a gem come from, typically? Uh, battle rewards. Should be easy enough. 